Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're looking at Psalm 92. This psalm has a title, and it's called A Psalm, A Song for the Sabbath Day. Now, interestingly, the next five psalms do not have a title, and someone has suggested that the organizer of the psalms centuries ago put these psalms together to be sung as one song on the Sabbath day in the sanctuary. It definitely was a song to commemorate and sing and recognize the sovereignty of the Most High God over our lives for the Jewish people on the Sabbath day. Remember in the book of Genesis, on six days God created the heavens and the earth and everything in them, and on the seventh day God rested. And uh, then when he gave his commandments to the nation of Israel, he made even the Sabbath day rest one of the Ten Commandments. It was a day set apart for the people to rest, to commemorate, to think about who God is and how great He is and how awesome He is. God t knows us better than we know ourselves and said we need a day of rest. Now God even Himself rested on the Sabbath day, which is beyond my imagination and understanding, but that's what it says. And He maybe was just setting an example for us to teach us since we're created in His image, we need to have a day of reflection, of worship, a day that we sing and pray praise his name. Now, it's also for the Jewish people a day when they'd commemorate the, the deliverance from Egypt, how God in his mighty, with his mighty arm delivered them from the slavery of Egypt. And so it's a psalm of worship. It's a psalm recognizing the sovereignty of God. It's a psalm that reflects the covenant name of God. Seven times in this psalm, uh, God uh, actually uses, the, the writer uses the name Lord, capital, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Jehovah, Yahweh, recognizing again Jehovah, Yahweh, His covenant name. God's made a covenant with His people, and part of them was they keep the covenant, and God blesses them. They keep the Sabbath, and they rest on that day. Now, we need to be reminded as believers, our Sabbath day of rest is Sunday, on the first day of the week. We begin the week with rest. We don't end with rest. Why? We are a new creation. He's made all things new through Jesus Christ. Yes, we recognize the law, and the law is good and holy, but the law is to point us to Jesus Christ. Jesus is our Sabbath rest. Read the book of Hebrews because the people when they came to Canaan, Barnea did not believe the Lord by faith. They looked at the giants. They were afraid of them and they didn't enter the promised land. For, for 40 years they wandered in the wilderness and they never entered into their rest in the promised land because of their unbelief, the book of Hebrews. We have a Sabbath rest. We have a rest in Jesus Christ. The book of Ephesians begins with, we are seated with Christ with in heavenly places with Christ, in Christ. And my friend, that's where our rest begins. We begin the day with rest and then we complete the work God's given us because it's God who works in us both the will and to do of his good pleasure. A wonderful psalm of worship, of resting in Christ. Let's read at least the first five verses. It's good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night on an instrument of 10 strings and on the lute and on the harp with a harmonious sound. For you, Lord, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. O oh, Lord, how great are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. And so as the psalm begins, it even is telling us that we worship the Lord. We declare his loving kindness in the morning, his faithfulness every night. We start the day believing that we have a God who loves us, who cares for us, who will guide us, who will protect us, who will help us, his loving kindness. Then at night we reflect upon his faithfulness. He, uh, he, uh, he keeps his promises. He does what he says he's going to do. He is most high God. He's sovereign God, as it's pointed out in this psalm. What a beautiful psalm to reflect upon every day as we look upon our Jesus Christ, our Savior, who gives us our Sabbath rest in himself. God bless 
and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.